Hello, and welcome back to Series of Body. So, do you remember Pixel Plan Season 1? Yeah, that was a terrible series. Well, I actually own that server, so we updated for 1.17, and I'm back with Season 2. Enjoy. Let's see how this is. Ooh, look at this. Yo! Look at this spawn! What? This is insane! I'm not planning on like speedrunning. I joined the server actually a couple days late, so right now there's a couple people who are literally like speedrunning right now. And they are literally fighting the dragon right now. Or well, about to, I think. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Come on! Come on! Come on! Yes! I'm on half a heart, Jesus. Axolotls? Yo! Was that a glow squid? What? By the way, I like don't really know anything about this update. I know a tiny bit, but I really don't know much. I've been kind of deliberately distancing myself from all the info about it so that I can discover all these things with you guys because I feel like that's a lot more fun. Oh wow, there they go. Yeah, these guys are going to have elytras and like monopolize in like three minutes, seriously. I just realized I still like have zero health. Oh, there I go. Oh, I'm just running through the woods, and meanwhile, there's like three people who are like in an intense dragon fight. No! No! Let me escape! Oh, village right here. Has it got any loot? Has it got any loot? Let's see. <gasps> More flowers. Oh, I'm kind of collecting flowers, I just realized. I don't know why. I've gotten every type of tall flower. Huh, <laughs> just on the way here. Oh, is that a dog? That was a dog. Hold on, can we just notice how I spotted that tiny dog during this amount of time? Now that's what I call 2020 vision. Alright, back to the video. <gasps> yes! Yes! Come here! Yes! Uh, le leave a comment below for what we should name this dog. Potatoes! Potatoes! Yes, that's me! This right here, this is gonna be my base of operations for now. I'll come back here. I'm just gonna store some things here, pretty much. And uh, write down these coordinates. So I also want you to tell me in the comments below, should I be use, use shaders? Because at the moment, I can't use shaders because Optifine isn't out. But it, later on in the series, should I use shaders or not? I'd like to, I'd love to hear your opinions. What we should also probably do is trap a bunch of these villagers in their houses. And there's a ravine right here, so I think I'm just gonna kind of loot this thing. And I think this ravine has served us very well because we now have full iron armor and an iron pickaxe and uh, I don't have enough iron, oh, I don't have enough wood for any more tools, but yeah. Ooh, I just stumbled along this place. This is looking nice. Prime location. Prime location. This is begging for a base. Ooh, whoa! That is some cool looking generation. I gotta go check that out. Holy moly. Oh, I am building here. This, this, this is the place. This is the spot. I found it. I found it. This is the spot. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, that looks, that looks like a chunk error, but it is also so cool. Yeah, I gotta start clearing out these trees, man. This is the be this is the place. This is the place. So I think the thing I I've been thinking while clearing out a lot of these woods, and I'm thinking I'm gonna go with kind of a steam park. I think that's really fun. Now we have copper and lightning rods and all these cool things we can use. And I've been wanting to do steampunk like a th steampunk build for a while anyway. So I think this is a perfect opportunity. So I want to make a bit of a, the, thir the first thing I want to do is I want to make a bit of like a steampunk van in a way. And there's going to be a couple resources we need to get. We're going to need acacia, uh, we're going to need acacia and like copper. The rest of the wood we can kind of get. But those are the two things I want that I don't really have. I think what we're going to do, at least for now, in terms of farming, is we're going to have it up on this hill. Up on this hill, and have all these layers. I just think it will look really nice. I don't know if it'll be super practical, but I want to do it. Are those new noises for bone mealing? 
Ooh, listen to those. Nice. I just spotted another doggy. Doggy. Come on, please. Please, doggy. No, doggy. Wait, I don't know which is the old one now. Hold up. Uh, it's, it's this one, because this one has less food. Yeah, I need to... I make sure I know which is which. Okay, I need to dye their colors. The old one, I'll make this color... I'll make it diamond blue. And you can be a uh, lilac color. Magenta. So, I need names for these two dogs. So, make sure to leave, leave a comment down below telling me what you think this name should be. And I'll make sure to be checking the comments. We can have a little competition. Make sure if, if you see a name that you like, make sure to call, make sure to leave a like on that comment. Oh look, it's a nice happy family. It's a quick update. Now I've managed to get some cows here. Can't feed them yet, so I'm gonna be working on bringing those guys up. But I think I need to do just a bunch of caving to get a bunch of copper, because that's what I need. We're also gonna need to get bees so that we can get waxed copper, so that the copper doesn't get go green. Because I don't want a green copper. Ooh, goats! Look at these. What do you do? Hello, good friend. Hello. Do you have any purpose? What happens if I punch you? Are you gonna charge me and hit me? Or what? Aren't they supposed to like launch you really far? Do they drop anything? Damn, goats are kind of useless. Like, sorry, they're cool. I love these guys. Look at them, they're so funny. But they're, they're completely useless. Oh, they can jump. Look at them go. Look at them go. I have a herd of goats. Let's go. Oh, look at the baby ones. Oh, that's so cute. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is my new favorite animal. Look at them. Look at those noises, look at those horns. There's ears, derpy ears, I love them. I hope they can't, oh, 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 they can, okay. I was just about to say, I hope they can't jump over the fence. Looks like they most definitely can. Might have to up the security on this place. Wait, play that again. Oh, this man, he just tried to escape. I saw that. These guys are just escape artists. I'm gonna have to give this place a roof. Oh, oh, there goes another failed attempt. Now, it doesn't look awfully nice, but I think they're safe. So, you win some, you lose some. Oh, I finally got my brightness thing to work. Oh, it's dark in places. Order is restored. I hope the, all the footage and stuff wasn't too ugly from the last clips with no darkness anywhere. Oh my god, I thought this was the caves update, not the cliffs update, not yet. Look at this! That's, look how insanely huge this is. What the heck? Right, so I've spent about like the past hour running around, exploring our surrounding area a little bit, and collecting copper. And oh boy, it really does not show off well. 25 copper, that's really, really not that much for like an hour's work. The one other thing I'm definitely keeping an eye out for is acacia wood, because that's a nice wood, it fits nicely with copper, and it's also really nice for log, it's just kind of grey. It also looks really good stripped, it just, it just looks very good for steampunk. Also the farm is coming along great, I've done it in kind of layers, we've got like potatoes, wheat, carrot, potatoes, wheat, carrot, yeah, it, 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 it continues. Alright, so T-Man, O-Man. Got a couple guys, we're, ha Hello. we're chillin', yeah, say hi. We're hanging out, and he wants to build in our base. I don't want him to build too close, so I'm showing him where his land will be. You can build, like, off here, this direction, okay? And then the plane can go along here, alright? So it can't go that way? No, it can't go that way. Alright, so I've been doing some resource collecting for our base, and I've now got... Acacia saplings, here it is, this chest. I now have acacia, and that's good, I also have acacia saplings. So that's one last thing. The other thing we need though, is we need a couple nether resources. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna have to go to the nether, oh jeez. So I actually saw a nether portal 
in the direction of the huge mountains, which are just over here. So I'm gonna see if I can find the nether portal. It's like it's one of the, like the speed run portals people make with the lava pool. Oh wait, I sure I don't need to go all the way over there. There's a lava pool right here. Yeah, I can just build a portal right here. Okay, that's that's good. Nice. And here. Nice. Look at me go. So now I've got myself a nice little portal. Um, and I'm also going to set my spawn right here. Okay, okay, let's see the spawn here. Loud portal noises. Get some locks. Oh, yes! Oh, this is perfect! Basalt! Oh, look at this perfect blackstone right here. Lovely. You love to see it, folks. Okay, I got a stack and off here. Should be pretty good. But I would like to grab some of this glowstone while we're here. Might as well. Alright, I got what we came for. Let's get out of here. I might also actually grab a bit of that warped wood, though. Also, get some of these shroom lights. There we go. Lovely, lovely. For now, let's just get out of here before something bad happens. Oh, look, here he is. Skater Pro. I think he just came up from the mi- He just came up from the mines! Yo! Thank you! Look at this guy! Good on him! Thank you so much, dude! So yeah, uh, I don't know if I've really mentioned this too much. Skater Pro actually lives on, like, nearby. He's our neighbor. And I think he's just paid his rent. Look at him go. Yeah, look at here. He's got a friend. He's got the disco. Oh, oh god. Oh god, he hit an enemy. Evacuate, people. Evacuate. Alright, so unfortunately, I couldn't make a nice time lapse of this because replay mod isn't out yet. But I really took my time on this thing. I just really had a lot of fun building this. And I think it turns out great. It's a bit of a mess to look at at first. Once you start to see what it is, it's really cool. So it's like, it's like a steampunk kind of car. It's like a mashup of just a bunch of different things. Like they've, we've got several layers to this thing. We've got the main deck a little bit here. We've got some storage. And then in here, we've got a bit of an engine room going on here. A bit of crafting, a bit of smelting. Got a bit of a little bit of table here, table action here too. Then we can go up the ladder, and up here we've got ourselves a little bit of bed. There's not much I could really have fit in this place, this little room up here. But I can go out here, and now I'm on the main, the upper deck here. So yeah, we've got the upper deck, we've got the lower deck, we've got this little room, we've got the main engine room, and then we've also got some extra little things, I've got a little like, something something there, we've got a little, we've got a windmill here going on, we've got a little like smoke chimney going on. You'll love to see it. So if you've read the book series Immortal Engines, then you would definitely understand where I got my inspiration for this from. It is kind of like meant to be like a small house, tiny civilization put on wheels. And it's like ready for war. Look at this thing. This thing looks like it's ready to fight some things. But what it's meant to be well, is that the people, the crew of this place, maybe like a couple people, have come and they've driven in and they've found this lovely cove away from all the danger and so they've settled down and they just started to build and build and create a civilization here and that is what I want to create. I want big houses coming up here, giant rope bridges stretching across the sky, I want airships and hot air balloons and mines and lots of machines and stuff. Oh I'm so excited, this is going to be so cool. Another thing I've done is I've installed some stairs here to lead up to our neighbor Rooney's home right here. Looks like he's extended it all the way right into his base. Look at this. This is his base. He's now got a nether portal. All nice and nice, nice. Also, I've expanded the farm along this whole hill, as well as just like added a bunch of sugarcane to these things. Did you know you can place sugarcane underwater if it's near these? I did not know that until recently. If it's next to a gap with water, you can place your can underwater. Like, that's just, that's just insane. So I've kind of done that with this and this. A very kind of cheap way to make it look lush and somewhat nice. These are definitely not going to be staying around, don't you worry. 
And the last thing before we finish up today is spy glasses. These things look so cool. Look at the little thing you do. It's like saluting almost. And also, it's just so cool. I mean, you could honestly just use Optifine Zoom here, but this looks sick. Like the way it just zooms in like that. The little border. Oh, it's so cool. I love these things. So with that, we are completely out of video time for today. So make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed this video. And don't forget to subscribe if you're new and would like to see more of my content. And with that, I'll see you in the next one. I live inside my own world of make-believe Kids screaming in the cradles, profanities I see the world through ice covered in ink